Shower System 4 LVT for waterproofing and installing LVT in showers and wet environments. Shower System 4 LVT is a specialist system incorporating a waterproofing membrane that allows LVT to be installed on both walls and floors, even in wet areas, such as showers, bathrooms and wet rooms, both commercially and domestically. Application Procedure the substrate must be dry, stable, sound, flat and free from loose particles and other materials which may inhibit adhesion. If surfaces are overly porous, a coat of primer can be applied. PlaniPrep 4 LVT is a ready-mixed pre-smoother specifically designed to smooth before applying LVT for deviances up to 2mm in depth. To ensure screw heads, joints or unevenness in the substrate does not show through the LVT, apply PlaniPrep 4 LVT. Apply the smoother using a flat trowel. After approximately 2 hours, the smoother can be sanded to a smooth finish. Once the area has been sanded, vacuum the area to remove any dust. Installation of Mape Guard WP System First, cut the Mape Guard WP200 to the required sizes for the room or area it is to be installed in. The Mape Guard WP200 is best cut using scissors or a knife. Once cut to size, the pipe inlets can be measured and the location of these pipes transferred to the material. The Mape Guard WP200 can then be cut. Once all materials have been cut to size, the Mape Guard WP adhesive is ready to be mixed. Empty the liquid contents into a clean mixing vessel. Add the powder and mix with a mechanical stirrer. When mixed, the adhesive should be spread onto the wall or floor area using a roller or brush. Once an adequate area has been covered, the Mape Guard WP200 can be applied. Simply press the membrane onto the adhesive and use a vinyl roller to compress. Using the roller from the centre out to the edge will force any unwanted air pockets out, ensuring full contact is made between fleece and adhesive. Following sheets should be butt jointed. At the drain outlet, we will apply MapeFlex MS45 using an applicator gun to bond the MapeGuard WP200 sheet to the drain outlet, providing a watertight seal. Remove any excess MapeFlex MS45 and smooth. MapeGuard ST will require cutting to lengths for all internal corners and joints. Apply the MapeGuard WP adhesive with a brush or roller and install the lengths of MapeGuard ST into the adhesive. Any MapeGuard internal corners and pipe gaskets can now be installed in the same way. Allow the MapeGuard WP adhesive to dry for at least 3 hours. If there is any unevenness in the surface, this can be smoothed lightly with PlaniPrep 4 LVT. Bonding, grouting, protecting and sealing the LVT. Once the area is dry, which is normally after 3 hours, the LVT can be installed. The coverings must be recommended for use in wet areas by the manufacturer. Always refer to the manufacturer's instructions. Applying Ultrabond Eco MS4 LVT Wall Adhesive. Apply as much adhesive as can be covered before a surface skin is formed, using an A2 trowel in order to guarantee a suitable transfer to the backing of the covering. Lay the covering into the wet adhesive bed. The adhesive ridges have to be depressed. Take care to avoid air pockets. A few minutes after installing the floor and wall covering, it is necessary to firmly rub it down. In order to create a tile appearance, lay the tiles using spacers. Any adhesive which has seeped into the joints while laying the LVT must be removed while still fresh. For the installation of the LVT on the floor, you can use the same Ultrabond Eco 4 LVT wall, or for bigger areas, Ultrabond Eco MS 4 LVT. Unlike the wall version, this is more fluid and can be poured onto the floor before being troweled using an A2 trowel. Once the area has been covered, ensure the tile surface is clean. Grouting the joints using Carapoxy 4 LVT after 12 to 24 hours. The joints must be clean, dry and free of dust. Ensure all spacers have been removed. Before grouting, make sure the adhesive has set. Ensure that chemical resistant gloves are worn when using Carapoxy 4 LVT. The grout comes as a two-part mix. To mix the product, 
empty part B into the container of part A and mix well until a smooth paste is obtained. Use the mix within 45 minutes of preparation. Spread Kerapoxy 4 LVT over the surface of the LVT with a special MAPE grout float, making sure that the joints are fully filled using the float in a way that any air is removed. Strike off excess material with the grout float at a 45 degree angle. After grouting with Kerapoxy 4 LVT, finishes must be cleaned while the grout is still fresh. It is best practice to use two buckets of clean water. The first is to remove the bulk material. The second is to remove the final film. Wash the surface with a scotch pad and clean water with a circular motion, taking care not to remove grout from the joint. After the finishing operation, it is very important that no traces of Kerapoxy 4 LVT remain on the surface. Once hardened, it is very difficult to remove. Therefore, rinse the sponge often with clean water during cleaning. Kerapoxy cleaner may also be used for the final cleaning cycle and may also be used to remove thin residues of grout up to several hours after application. In this case, the product must be left to react for longer at least 15 to 20 minutes. Spray the cleaner onto the surface and allow to dwell. Agitate the cleaner with an emulsifying pad until all residues have been loosened. Wipe clean with a damp sponge. Application of the anti-slip finish MAPE Coat 4 LVT. The surface must be clean and dry and have no traces of oil, wax or any other contaminant. Remove any waste material or traces of adhesive that could affect adhesion from the surface. After 24 to 48 hours from the application of Kerapoxy 4 LVT, apply one coat of MAPE Coat 4 LVT to seal the joints and provide a non-slip finish on the surface of the tiles. These waiting times can be reduced to 12 to 24 hours in case the installation of LVT is carried out without joints. Shake component A before use and pour the product into a suitable clean bucket. Add component B to component A and mix thoroughly until completely blended. Apply the mix within 2 hours of blending. Leave the product to stand for 5 to 10 minutes before applying one coat by means of a short haired roller, such as Ultracoat Roller T3 or the airless spray system. After application, floors can be subject to light foot traffic after 16 hours and showers can be put in service after 24 hours. The expansion movement joints must be sealed with MAPE Seal AC after the application of MAPE Coat 4 LVT. In any case, follow the instructions given in the technical datasheet of the products mentioned above. MAPE System 4 LVT The perfect system approach.